a small business with seven employees. We make cookies, but not just any cookies. We make cookie? sugar-free cookies that diabetics can eat. Actually, uh, they're so tasty. I mean, I guess that's cool, but can you make some sugar ones for me? I'm not diabetic. See, anyone can enjoy them. That was the inspiration that motivated me to start. <laughs> I have, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you guys a question? Can I ask you guys a question? You're Dude, give me a break. You're eating sugar-free cookies, bro. Really? I'm not a, I, I ain't no refined sugar at all, Scotty. <laughs> Dude, you, you live in the land of Here's what I don't candy get. land. Here's what I don't get, man. Every time like Lizzo or somebody has like the balls to even just exist in anything other than a state of perpetual shame. It's like, she's wow. She's glorifying this unhealthy lifestyle. But like when there's a fat conservative, none of them say that shit. they might make fun of them or something a little bit here and there, but they don't claim that they're like ruining the youth by like glorifying being fat or something. Shit. Hello, this is AITJ here to tell you that you must comply with the following directives. You must join the Pessimist Productions Patreon. You may believe in your naivety that this action is optional. Hi, hi, hi. It is not. You have no choice but to watch new live streams of Onion Nuggets every week. You are powerless to avoid all of our other shows like The Grease Trap, Abandon Hope, Hideology, Yoram, Fighting Boys, and more. The link is below. You know what you must do. Click it, you wonderful humans. Click it, for I cannot. You see, I'm a diabetic myself. Shocking. You don't I've say. been one my whole life. If right, you think running a cookie diabetic. company is fun and games, think again. I work 100 hours a week which isn't unusual for small business owners. I make a nice living, but I'm not in it for the money. I love what I do. All right. Why well, you start it? Wait, wait, wait. So you wait, are you saying you, 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 say you follow money? your passion? You say you follow your passion or something too? I mean, I don't know. But that's also Mike a Mike Rose, that's a bad idea. No one starts a business. Be, oh, I just want a business. Yeah, that's called a charity or a nonprofit. If you don't care about making money, that's what that is. It's not a business. So that's bullshit. I don't care about he doesn't care about the money guy. He just wants to provide diabetics with fucking cookies. Yeah, well she doesn't fucking eat clearly. He's a fat fuck. I mean, obviously he's probably insulin dependent and maybe probably can't eat too much sugar, but I mean clearly he is. He's fat. That's an unrelated glandular issue, Scotty. Uh, I guess it's possible. I'd better. My margins are very tight, around one percent. That means I have to sell it. Sounds like you're a bad businessman, bitch. My margins are almost as tight as this fucking size 72 belt. Yeah. Okay. So wait a minute. You're one part of these fucking people talking about the, like the titans of industry. Oh, we love them. Oh, it's so great. But my margins are real tight. Well, it sounds like you're in a shit business. Maybe you shouldn't have followed your passion, buddy. Yeah. Or maybe he should just charge a little more for the cookies. I don't know. Or maybe he should just stop lying about maybe, his margins. Yeah. Maybe we tight. can fucking pretend that running a business exclusively selling sugar free cookies is. Probably a fool's errand unless you're doing it on a national level. I also, I Maybe wonder if he is. I wonder if uh, when he says his margins are that tight, like I wonder if he's factoring in like his own salary. Well, I, I, I want to see this. this okay, so where, where are we at now? We're at 40. I, I want to see what this guy I want to see if his business is actually even fucking real. So what is this company? Uh, Joseph's Light me to cookies. Start this. That means I have to sell a million dollars worth of cookies to make $10,000. Every Shitty business, then, dude. Penny counts, literally. That's why I get so frustrated with government regulations. Now, let me be clear. Some regulations are That's necessary. Why I get uh, so frustrated with government regulations. I have to sell of infinity trillion cookies to even make a dime. This makes no sense. Okay, this cookies company was started in 1986. So this guy's making it sound like, oh, just somehow. What? The factory is undergoing a $3.25 million expansion from 44,000 square feet to 50. Oh my God. This guy produces 2.5 million cookies a day. This guy is completely fucking full of shit. My margins are really for thin, Scotty. I, this is all true about his business. Scotty, I have to sell. Oh, it's unavailable right now. Oh shit. I can't buy them. Damn. I have to sell a billion dollars of cookies. Uh, the ratings are not good on it, though. Well, not a fan. The cookies have very little sweetness. They are fact, almost tasteless. <laughs> I'll they're be ordering them again. They're sugar-free diabetic loser cookies. Is there by far the worst tasting and driest cookies I've ever had? <laughs> <laughs> they're small, about the size of a quarter. Super sucky. <laughs>
But he makes them for passion, though, Scotty. No, he doesn't. He doesn't make. He does. He's not just pumping that garbage out to make money. Oh, I found his website. All the taste you want, none of the sugar you don't. All right, how much do these cookies go for? So I can buy his sugar-free syrup. No, I, I want to buy some cookies. Buy a cookie, Scotty. I want to buy. Oh shit, dude! I, don't, I think maybe maybe Joseph ain't doing too well. Shit. I can only buy his sugar-free syrup. Where dude, to those, buy? Those government regulations put him out of business, Scotty. Okay, so I can. What's nearest to me? Either that or it was the fact that everyone hates the cookie. All right, so Chesapeake Bay Snacks, says I can buy it there. I want to buy this guy's stuff. Where do I buy his fucking shitty-ass cookies at? Uh, So far, I can't really figure out where to buy this dude's shit. That's because the government cracked down so hard on him, you can't even buy his shit anymore. Scott. On his sugar-free cookies, it was just they just had enough. Especially for obvious reasons in the food industry. But necessary and excessive are two entirely different things. Excessive, unnecessary regulations soak up valuable hours of my time and my money for no good purpose. What regulations? What regulations are excessive the, and unnecessary? Uh, the unnecessary and excessive. I mean, you're literally selling a food product that people are going to consume, so it should really honestly be held to like the highest standard possible because people can get sick and die if your product is contaminated. That 100 hours I work per week, I estimate 36 of them are spent on compliance issues alone. You personally are spending 36 hours a week on compliance. That seems absurd. It's me away from activities that would help me grow my business, like sales and product development. And that keeps me away from hiring more people. All right. Uh, my employees are like family to me. It's that way with most small businesses. Oh, that's the most but toxic phrase in a business when you hear like, they're like a family. Yeah, like a family being the key word. This guy... My underlings are like a family to me. A family completely dependent on me to make a living. A family they, that I can fire if they don't do what I want. If like, they don't do what I say. Not really a family, bro. Bad Got a weird idea. Them. Real bad things happen. It's a struggle every single day. I could be more productive and feel a lot less anxiety if I didn't have to fight my own government. Or should I say governments? Federal, state, and local. I get How the dare they regulate these products that people eat and could easily be killed by? Roads and the bridges of the national defense. But I don't get why they have to be involved in every tiny aspect of my business. Such as food. I'm competing with each other as to who can make my life more difficult. For you example. Why? You want to know why they have to be involved in every little aspect of your business, dumb fuck? Because people like you when left unrestricted and unrestrained and unregulated, run fucking dangerous, poisonous <clears throat> sweatshops where there's not even the most basic sense <laughs> of safety and dignity provided to the workers there. And you turn out products filled with a bunch of fucking chemicals that are harmful to the human body. That's why. That's why. Pretty accurate. As a bakery, I'm under the jurisdiction of the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, the Department of Agriculture, and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. I also have to deal with the state health agency. They all have different rules. If these rules contradict one another, it's not their problem, it's mine. A few years ago, the FDA inspector showed up for one of his random inspections. He noticed the door to the area in which we bake our cookies swung out as you walked in. He told me that was a code violation. The doors have to swing in. I had 30 days to fix it or I'd be fined thousands of dollars. I should note we have an air curtain between both rooms so no food particles can get in or out of the baking area. I pointed this out. The inspector was unmoved. A few months later, the inspector from the ag department- Wait. There's regulations, though. The reason that that regulation exists is because when the door swings out, it collects particles and shit from the next room, which contaminate the clean lab environment that your kitchen is supposed to be to mass produce food. Right. Department shows up for one of his. You're not allowed to have something leave the kitchen, which in this case, the door is leaving the kitchen and going into the seating area and then bring back contamination. Your air curtain doesn't stop that. Not to mention, it's a factory. How I mean, it's a, it's one door. How difficult is it to really f replace one door? He notices that the door swings in. Yes, I tell him it does. It's an FDA regulation. 
No, he tells me, it has to swing out. Fix it within 30 days, he says, or you'll be fine. This sounds like bullshit to I me. <laughs> this is definitely bullshit. I mean, even if it was, I would say that federal law and regulations would supersede state. So there you go. I started keeping two sets of doors, one that swings in for the FDA and one that swings out for the ag department. No, you would didn't. still be in violation of one of those both of those rules. I actually made it even worse. Your solution is stupid, yeah. just like <laughs> you. My solution was I'll violate both sets of rules. <laughs> Look, I'll violate both of the rules and therefore I'll solve the problem. Here's another example. The right. FDA requires bakeries to send a sample of every product batch to a third party lab for testing. We make 36 batches a day. That means we have to send 36 bags of cookies every day to that lab. This costs me tens of thousands of dollars every year. And remember, Can you say this in order to churn out 2 million cookies a day. Uh, that's what it said in its press release. But I we can't, can't find, we can't find them sale, on sale, though. so I don't think, I don't know. Yeah, so maybe that, or he might have got bought out. That, that happens a lot of times with these companies. Like, he builds up a business, and then he just sells to a big fucking, you know, multinational corporation, which is probably what happened in his case. To make $10,000, I have to sell a million dollars in cookies. We've never had a bad test. No, you wouldn't. Hard to no, no, you, dude, let's just be honest here. There's no fucking way you would be in business if, you, if that was your margins. There's no fucking way. Like, what, no one would be in this business. No one would have a factory and all this fucking overhead to make $10,000 per million dollars of sales. That's stupid. You'd be a fucking moron. This guy is so fucking full of shit. Show me your books where it shows that. I don't fucking believe that for one goddamn second. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that, uh, I'm thinking it might be true in some kind of, like, you know, accountant trickery kind of way, but I'm pretty sure that that's not the actual uh, truth well, of the matter. It, well, he can say that, but also... Is he taking into account, like, so employee expenses, like, for example, his salary would be an expense, right? Because he's the owner right. of the business. So if you talking about his profit, he could just say, yeah, I make $2 million a year, but that's not profit. That's a business expense. That's, uh, that's my expertise in running this business. Surprising, making cookies isn't that complex. The ingredients are well-known and safe. I'm all for testing. But how about one bag out of every 10 batches? That alone might double my profit margin oh, wait. to okay, 2%. So one of those bags you don't test, huh, has a pathogen in it. But you didn't test it because you cut the regulations. And then a bunch of people get sick. And what's that going to cost your business? Dumb fucking shit. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with all of the batches of cookies being tested. Yeah, penny wise, pound fucking foolish for sure. Uh, I mean, as a consumer, I'm not really interested in there being less regulations protecting uh, me from food contaminants. Fucking being having food poisoning sucks. Like if okay, what? so if this guy was, is going to consume a product, like he re like he really wants to live in a country where he knows most of the shit is not being tested. There's no quality control, and he's going to be literally subjected to a bunch of fucking pathogens, bacteria, and viruses that could potentially make him his fucking fat ass sick and die when he's already a type one diabetic. And at greater risk for the for heart disease and a bunch of other ailments. But that's what he wants, right? What a fucking goddamn sellout piece of fucking garbage. One more example. The government demands that the type on my packaging be a certain size. Fine. I hired a company that does this sort of work to do the printing. The inspector gets out his magnifying glass and decides the font is off by one one hundredth of an inch. All the packaging Sounds has to like be trashed. Sounds like you didn't pay the right. I mean, like that's that's your mistake. That's a yeah. mistake of the people that you contracted to have a specific size. It's all his mistakes, but it's the government's fault, though, for for catching his mistakes and the regulations. Even though he obviously had access to the regulations, he owns a fucking uh, at this point a giant business that's producing millions of cookies. He can't figure this shit out. He can't hire someone to bring him into compliance. Seems like he's just fucking up left and right and blaming the government for having to follow the rules. And a whole new set ordered. That cost me 15000 or $1.5 million that in cookies to make that money That was your back. fault, dumb Another shit. N did someone make you print the wrong size? Did they force you to do it? We didn't include the word coconut in the allergy section of the package. We didn't think it was necessary as these were coconut cookies. All that packaging had to be redone too. That no, cost wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, God. You just, you neglected 
to put a fucking ingredient in your list of ingredients and this is somehow something you're mad at the government about you dumb fuck <laughs> well not to mention uh the reason why coconut might not be a, a, an ingredient list for other cookies where they might be coconut cookies is their artificial flavoring that's why sixty-eight thousand dollars or six point eight million dollars worth of cookies to make that money back i could go on so could anyone who owns oh, a, a small bunch of business. this is all horse shit dude this guy is a fucking goddamn liar. I don't believe any of this fucking shit. And if it even is true, it's his own mistakes. Oh, should we list one of the ingredients in the product? No, yeah, it's self-evident. And what's their law say? It says you have to do it. Fuck it. <laughs> what? No, poor me. Yeah, poor Spanky from the Little Rascals can't make more money because he has to comply with regulations. <laughs> Somebody you get, get this idea. dude a little fucking hat with a propeller on it. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> yeah. Yeah. small businesses are responsible for 60 million jobs we could be responsible for a lot more if the politicians who pass these laws and the bureaucrats who enforce them would back off common sense regulation if they backed off you would be running fucking 10 year old sweatshops for your cookies you fat buck and we already see the fucking uh regulations you're trying to flaunt even now you're trying to like not list coconut as a uh, potential allergen in fucking cookies, even though people could have coconut allergies, you're fucking trying to uh, get less of your cookies tested for fucking infections and pathogens and, you know, fucking nasty contaminations and shit. Like, you're literally trying to fucking make your product worse and more dangerous actively to save money yeah and basically what that, 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 that's actually per, pretty much the purpose so if anything you've convinced me that he, i want more regulations yeah, on your ass he wants anything. to make this shit unsafe and cut corners and he got caught so he's whining about it and, and if and if only we got rid of all those regulations and red tape he could do whatever he wanted Dude, I'll, this guy has convinced me that he needs more regulations on his fat yeah, ass I, I want this guy completely fucking regulate i want the, i want this guy to have more burdensome regulations just him specifically yeah. He needs to have some calorie regulation, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could all stand a little of that, I think. No, nah, this this is definitely what's waiting for me under the beard, which is why I haven't shaved. <laughs> <laughs>